Hey, my lovely Willow Vibes tribe members. I am Jessica from Willow Vines Intuitive Vibes, and I'm here to do a collective message. Please like, 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 comment, share, and subscribe. Stick around. Hope you do stay. I would love it if you would. So, I heard before I hit record, while I was doing a little pre-shuffle, you missed a spot. And it made me think of cleaning. So, cleaning up a mess, or it could be literally cleaning, doing whatever, painting, what have you. But it's almost like with clock time, time pressure, and in a rush, somebody could have been rushing through something and they missed something. They missed information. They missed a crucial piece of whatever this is. Because I feel like I'm picking things up, like organizing a mess, I guess you could say. So it could be a literal mess or this could just be a metaphor. But as I'm doing this, I missed something. Not me, Jessica. Someone missed miss something like okay I put this here I put that there now I'm going back to clean it all up and oh shit I forgot about that one I forgot about something somebody forgot about something somebody might find it that's what it feels like because they were in a rush to clean something up to hide something basically is what it feels like so there's a boo-boo in here someone made a boo-boo with that whatever that is I don't want this right now, so let's see. What's going on today? Whenever your today is, because my videos don't always upload in the same damn day, just saying. So we have telepathy, telepathic communication. Wi-Fi could be very significant um, to the situation, so the internet and stuff like that, or just being connected, because if you think about it, Wi-Fi is a sense of connectedness, being connected to multiple people, the internet, you know, um, that's how we connect. You're connecting with someone spiritually, like telepathically, that's how you're connecting with them, because you, you can probably read their fucking mind, whether it's, you know, alternating current or direct current, and this feels more direct, so I feel like some of you might be picking up on someone, and but they're not picking up on you, so it's not going back and forth, it's you're just picking up on them. Um, for whatever reason, there's a specific reason as to why this would even be happening, because spirit tells us what we need to know, not necessarily what we want to know, and even if you can do telepathic communication, that does not mean that you can read every thought in someone's head. That's just, that's, that's not possible. Um, that's not how it works is what I should say. So anyways, spiritual connection. Yeah, there's a connection here. You're connected to someone for a specific reason. It could be because they're problematic or there's a problem surrounding them. But it's making me think of like... You know, when you're looking for something and you retrace your steps, it's like, okay, well, all right, where the hell did I put whatever the hell you're looking for? Oh, I'm looking for my crystal. Where did I fucking put that? And you're like, okay, well, I was in the kitchen and then I went here and then I went there and you're like going around like, nope, it's not there, not there, not there. And then you're going, well, I don't fucking know where it is. This, someone's doing something like that, no matter what it is. And you might be picking up on it going, well, I know exactly where it is. Like, okay, where is whatever the hell this person's looking for. And you can either retrace their steps through a sense of mind reading or spirits letting you know, like, it's over here. <laughs> you know what I mean? So you go, okay, well, I think it's in such and such a place. And they're like, no, I don't, I wasn't over there. Or there's no way it's over there. And then they go look and they're like, holy shit. Okay, there it is. That actually literally happened to me because that's how spirit communicates is through telepathic communication. If you think about it, it comes in through your thought voice. So it's not always another person. You know what I mean? 90% of the time it's spirit telling you stuff. If that, um, if that's how things work for you, <coughs> but yeah, it's an example like that where this one time, I've said this before, but it was so cool. And it was in the beginning when I was trying to learn and understand my own spiritual gifts better. Like it was, it didn't come very easy. You know what I mean? Like I wasn't trying, I don't know how to explain it. So it's not like working too hard or overthinking a process. It's just learning how to understand what, where things are coming from, where information's coming from can be difficult. 
Um, it's a process, you know what I mean? It's a learning curve, just like anything else in life. So some of you could be going through that, you know, um, trying to understand your own abilities or the information that you're receiving and like, where do I put this kind of thing? But anyways, I was at someone's house and I've talked about a friend of mine who passed away, Joe, quite a bit and in the past. And he still pops in every now and again. It's, it's, it's cool. He's not around as frequently as he used to be, though. He's here when he needs to be is what I heard. But regardless, um, before I realized that he was around me as strongly as he was <laughs> for a while, I was at his house and um, they were looking for his welder, his his wife and my sister. And um, they couldn't find it. They were tearing apart the front porch. They were going to go out in the shed. They were, they were going all over the place like, where the hell is this freaking thing? And... Uh, when I came, when I came in, I just stood in the kitchen and uh, cause I was like, what are you guys doing? And they told me what they were looking for. And I just closed my eyes and I said, Joe, uh, where's your welder? <laughs> That's what I said. And I heard it's on the front porch in the corner under some stuff. And so I was like, okay. So I told him, I said, it's on the front porch in the corner, in the far corner. Um, like the external corner, basically under some stuff. And my sister swore up and down. She's like, no, it is not. I tore that fucking front porch apart. It's not out there. And his wife was like, yeah, uh, we already looked out there. And I'm like, well, look again. They looked again and there it was. He led me right to it. Spirit's leading you to information, leading you to certain things. Because that's an example. Like, yeah, I asked for that because I wanted, they needed to know where the hell it was. And I wanted to see how that would, how it would work out. And it did. It was really, I was like, wow, that's so cool. But anyways, um, little wins like that are, are fun and amazing. I, I love those types of confirmations because it doesn't only blow my mind. It doesn't blow my mind as much as it used to because it was very new to me at the time. Um, but it blows other people's minds and it's like, how the hell did you know that? Did, did he really say that to you? Like, do you know what I mean? Yeah, he did. I heard it in his voice and I saw his face in my mind when he was telling me it was, it was cool. But regardless, um, something like that's going on for some of you. And that's how you're going to find something that somebody left behind. Just, you missed something. You missed a spot. Somebody missed a spot. If they were trying to clean something up, you're going to find it because they missed it. I, I don't know what it is, but that's really cool. Spirit's going to lead you to something. So that was just a little mini example. And now I don't know where I'm going with anything because the energy, I don't know, for some reason, while I was explaining all of that, the energy felt like, whoo, whoo, like information's just going to be flying in. But now that it just, it feels like it just stopped. Something just stopped. So maybe some type of information, just somebody stopped doing something or energies calmed down because of a ritual, because of a ritual that someone did, energies are calming down or stopping. It doesn't feel like you don't have spiritual gifts anymore or anything like that. It feels, this feels like if you were picking up on another person or a problem surrounding you, like the energy's going, oh, it's going to head my way. I'm seeing all the signs. That's not happening anymore. Something to do with signs. It's dying down. But these aren't, I don't know how to explain it because I want to say they're spiritual signs because they are in a sense. If you're doing any kind of telepathy, that's still spiritual if you think about it, even if it's with a living person or people. The signs are dying down. Okay, spirit's blocking something. Spirit's blocking bullshit. They're blocking bullshit. Because I keep wanting to say this has to do with a living person. Like you're picking up on their energy or their intentions or something. And, or you were. You still kind of are, but this feels more like this has happened already. Yeah, it's happened already. Okay, so you could have been seeing a lot of signs, like getting a lot of information from whoever the hell's sending it your way. Because you can just sit there and be like call me, call me, call me, or look over there, look over there. Like, do you know what I mean? Like if you have an, someone's setting an intention to, so that you'd pick up on it or they're trying to at the very least. And I feel like all that was getting through. 
at one point because you could have been wide open, but spirit's going, no. Um, you don't need to see this sign because it ain't fucking, it's, it's nothing. This, is, this isn't legitimate. A lot of you are being taught how to decipher. I've picked up on this recently too. You're being taught by spirit through your higher self how to decipher different spiritual signs and messages, like what's important and what isn't. Yeah, you're learning the difference. That's what it feels like. Someone's learning the difference between what's what's best for you and what isn't. You know what I mean? <coughs> I hope that makes sense. <clears throat> it will to some of you. That's not what this entire reading is going to be about. That's just in here somewhere. It's pertaining to someone you know. That's what I heard. It, it, this pertain That message I was just talking about pertains to someone you know. I don't know if they're the ones sending shit your way or if it's happening to them, you know what I mean? Whichever way it goes for you, you'll know if it's your if it's a message for you. You'll know. I also want to say this, I've said it before, but with my readings, like especially general public readings and stuff, um even if there's like uh a, a, I guess a base reading, like say the energy stays pretty similar throughout the whole thing. There's always different messages for different people that pop in and out. So like the te um, telepathic message that I just sent, <laughs> the telepathic message that I just sent, <laughs> maybe somebody's doing that. Um, that's not for everyone. That's like a message for one person. And then there's going to be a little blip of something else for someone else. So the entire reading isn't for just one person. Does that make sense? Especially the random shit. There's something to do with random information. The telepathic message I sent is not for everyone. Somebody sends you a message and it's not meant to be shared with everyone. I'm not sure what that's about, but it's making me think of like the sense of random information. So, cause usually spirit will answer your questions. Like if you're trying to figure something out, if you have a legit question, you're like, Oh, I don't know what to do in this situation or which direction should I go in or what's, what's happening today? You know, whatever spirit will answer you that way because you're asking them, you're, you're, you started it. Do you know what I mean? Um, but the random little blips that pop in your head sometimes, especially if this applies, is another person or people. It could be different people even. It usually is. It's not all coming from one person. The random crap is not spirit. My voice is heard in the world. Oh, there's a wolf. You're being heard, that's for sure. You're being heard by more than one person. It's funny that that just kind of flipped out. Like, whoop, there it is. Whoop, there it is. I don't know, something's coming in for you today. Whatever your today is. Today for me is Saturday, March 30th, 2024. I am loved and protected. You definitely are. So no matter what's coming your way, good, bad, or indifferent, you're protected from... Spirit's protecting you. You're, just, you're protected. So signs are protecting you, basically. Your intuition's protecting you. Because the dime, I was brought back to that, which is kind of funny. Because another one appeared in my path. That's the third one in a week, just saying. And it stands for listen to yourself and you're protected. It's a, a level of protection. So you're being reminded... Of how protected you truly are. Even if you don't always feel that way. I don't know. Something to do with a fan. I don't know what that's about. But regardless. Something just came out of nowhere. Something's going to fall in your lap. Something you've been looking for. Some information. Or a literal, literal object. I don't know what it is. Something's just going to fall in your lap. Like oh, boop, there it is. And you're going to go, what the motherfucking shit balls? Yeah, something's just going to fall in your lap. But it feels good, like like you've been waiting for this, or it's significant. 
moon wishes the moon shows me patience you've been patient in this situation with this person these people your patience is paying off For some reason this kind of reminded me of the dream i had last night i don't know the dream was weird and there's a lot of aspects to it that i don't fully remember but it's in there i know it's <laughs> so it's important it'll come up but there was one part that was very significant and it reminded me of when I find change on the ground because people look at it as being insignificant, like, oh, a penny, I'll walk by it a million times, my ears ringing, because it's just a fucking penny, but I stop and pick it up because I'm like, ah, whoop, to do, doo got a penny, because it adds up, and it's just, I don't know, I just find it cool, it's like finding cool rocks and trinkets and shit, but anyways, in the dream, it was a pirate ship that I was on, because it was like two separate segments, I guess you could say, because the pirate ship originally they were looking for treasure i mean both pirate ships were but there were two ships and one was like we're looking for the big treasure you know we need we want the treasure chest the, the all the loot basically and they wouldn't stop for anything small because they wanted they wanted it all at once like i'm not stopping for anything small i want the big shebang you know what i mean but i was on the other pirate ship and i knew who these people were i, I don't remember who they are like literally from the dream but we knew each other I don't know so it must have been a sense of competition or some shit but regardless I was on the other pirate ship and I can't remember if it was my daughter might have been my daughter or it was someone someone significant to me we'll just leave it at that because I think it was her but I'm not sure but anyways I was like I'll show you where the real treasure is and we dove into the water. We jumped off the ship and dove into the water, which is like diving into your feelings. And the water was clear in the dream, so that's good. It wasn't like shitty and murky or anything. And I don't know if any of you know, like, know what I'm talking about, but the little necklace chains where they're like little balls and you just kind of clip it in the thing. It's not a hook. It's, I don't know what it looks like, but regardless, those, and they're usually cheap. Well, <coughs> there were little pieces of those necklaces <clears throat> like three or four little balls like they were broken or cut up and they were just scattered all over the ocean floor ultimately so it was like a treasure hunt basically because the whole dream was kind of like a treasure hunt but I was looking for the small things and this other ship was looking for it all like all right I need this massive I just need this in my face like you know what I mean like something it has to be big or I don't want nothing to do with it kind of thing if it's just little, it doesn't matter. If it's minor, it doesn't matter. But the little shit adds up. Because that's what I was getting at with the pennies and stuff, you know. A hundred pennies is a fucking dollar. You find a hundred of them randomly, you got a dollar. That's a dollar more than you had, you know what I mean? But regardless, there was little pieces and they were gold. So they were worth something. And I was like, oh, there's one. And I showed my daughter and I was like, you see? And she goes, well, that's so insignificant. It's so tiny. It's so small. I'm like, but trust me, they're everywhere. And when you pick them up and you save them, it adds up. And that's the treasure. It all, so it's like when you get this information, when you see this, this clue, this sign, this whatever, it all adds up into something big. Because someone's looking at a situation all wrong. The other pirate ship is looking for everything all at once. Like, it's just going to be handed to him on a silver platter, basically. But you're seeing all the details, all the little things, and you're holding on to it. You're saving it, and it's all adding up. Something's all adding up for you. Your patience is paying off. I don't know. Some clues are coming in for you in this situation that you're going to be going, What the mother shit balls is this? Holy crap. Yay. You know? I don't know. This feels really good. All the little things are adding up, and you're showing someone. Like, just, you gotta be patient, though, because that's part of the dream. Like, you gotta be patient. It takes time to add this stuff together, to put it all together. It's like an investigation. This is really what it feels like. It takes time. Don't worry. Um, I feel like it's not gonna take much more time. It has taken a minute, is what it feels like. I'm freezing my ass off all of a sudden. Okay, so, let's see. I don't want... Yeah, we'll do one moon card. There it is. The answers you need are coming. But I say it takes time. Good things come to those who wait. I'm just saying. But the answers you seek are, they're coming. They're headed your way. I want one of these for that. The answers you need are coming. 
and not just through your intuition. So whatever your intuitive hits have been in, in this situation for you, it, I don't know, you're piecing things together, but it's all going to add up. And this is something concrete. This is in your physical reality. So whatever's headed your way, whatever information, it's tangible. You know, you can pick it up kind of thing. <coughs> it's not in your head, basically. Because maybe someone thought that, like, oh, all the stuff you're saying and sensing and feeling is all in your fucking head, but it isn't. It isn't. Because what's in your head is going to be in everyone's fucking reality. Do you know what I mean? Something like that. Alright, so give me more on the answers you need are coming. Yeah, the answers you need are coming. Someone's looking for answers, that's for sure, because this is the student energy. Someone's trying to figure something out. Whatever you're working towards, whatever you're looking for, whatever you're trying to figure out, the answers are coming. They could be coming online as well. Um, but I feel like it's in your physical environment. I don't feel like it's somebody messaging you and shit. Oh, Gemini could be significant as well. There have been delays in receiving this information, receiving this message, these messages or something. Some message was delayed. But it was on purpose. Yeah, whatever this message is, it was it was delayed on purpose. But not by a person. Maybe you just felt the need to delay something. <laughs> I, I don't know. <sighs> think before you speak. Because somebody had to think about something. This message is delayed because they had to process through whatever's going on. You or them or whoever. This is a process. It's been a process. Why is my fucking teeth hurting all of a sudden? I don't have any teeth problems here, but that just hurt. Like, this is the right side. This is my upper right side. My teeth are hurting. There's a delayed message for someone who has bad teeth or pain on the upper right side with their teeth. Hmm. Okay. So we'll use one of these. What's the vibe here? Something to do with someone's Facebook page as well. I don't think they can see your Facebook, just saying. They can see whatever you want them to see, basically. It's like when you're not friends with someone and you decide to post some shit publicly. Of course they can see it, because it's for the public, but anything else they're not going to be able to see. Someone's keeping something the same publicly. Like, no changes. No change. I don't know. But it, it's being done on purpose. Okay. So maybe you won't know what's going on with them, or vice versa or something. Hmm. What's that? Today, I told you, answers are coming today. Something's gonna, something's going to present itself to you today. Good vibes now in the moment. I just heard another year has passed. So someone's birthday could be around the corner or they just had a birthday or something, but another year has passed and nothing. Okay, so whatever's going on between you and this person, nothing nothing has gone on. Another year has passed and there's no forward movement. Nothing's going on. It's all the same. Not today. Today is different. This isn't the same. Today is different. Today is the day for something. could have something to do with tarot as well but today's the day for healing or to heal a situation between you and someone um 
ritual. I did say some, something stopped because of a ritual. To experience the magic of life, you must first practice it. This feels like a ritual of protection, though. This isn't bad. This isn't like sending bad shit someone's way. Somebody could have witnessed some type of ritual online or they're figure, figuring out something today about a ritual. Uh, but this is all about protection. What? Is her practice the... It doesn't, that doesn't make any sense. Practice the beauty from within. Okay, whatever that means to you. Magic. Today the magic starts. Okay. So if you did any protection ritual rituals or anything like that, uh, the magic is starting with that today. Wait a minute. I keep staring at the word moon. That makes... Get a reading. Someone needs to get a reading or they want to. But... Oh, my stomach started to hurt all of a sudden. <laughs> but anyways, um... I'm staring at the moon. Isn't the fucking eclipse tomorrow? Mon not tomorrow. That's Sunday. Um, Monday. And it's weird because I was thinking of the eclipse and stuff. I gotta look up dates and crap, but... Um, I was looking up, or no, I wasn't, I need to, <laughs> maybe somebody was looking up the eclipse and stuff like that, but thinking of the eclipse, I was thinking, cause this is, uh, this, oh my gosh, I can't think. Take a minute. <sighs> even a while ago, even a year ago or more. I would think of a total eclipse of the heart, which is a total change around. And my most recent reading was about a total shift of 180 um, with someone. Hasn't uploaded yet. It's taking fucking forever. The situation's probably taking fucking forever. My ear's ringing again. Yeah, it has. Um, but the literal eclipse is, is happening, and that is a total change around, if you think about it. There's a change. There's a massive shift here. But something's occurring with this shift or that pertains to whatever this change is today. And it's spiritual. You got full bars, baby. I just heard the information that you seek is right at your fingertips. So it could be on a phone even, but like searching, researching shit. But regardless of what it is, right at your fingertips, like it's you have full access to something, to certain information, spiritual information about other people, about you, about whatever, you know, if there's, that's what it feels like. You have full access. Okay. Now it's making me think if any of you are readers or if you're going to get a reading, no matter who the reader is, like no matter who it's from, you're giving that reader full access to you, to information about you. I mean, if this person's legitimate, they're not going to abuse that. You know what I mean? Because if you abuse your your gifts and shit like that, trust me, your your Wi-Fi connection will die down. Um, you'll get unplugged. But <laughs> this doesn't feel like somebody interfering in somebody else's life or crossing the line. This feels like, like say you got a reading from someone, you granted them access to your energy because you want to know blah, 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 whatever. You're trying to figure something out. So you, you gave them full access. Um, they could still be picking up on you, but not intentionally. Does that make sense? Because, because you're paying attention to them. Okay. So like I was starting to talk about general readings in the public, how there's little blips of information for different people, even if the base of the reading is very similar, you know, throughout the whole thing. There's many messages in there from many different people because if you talk about telepathic communication and stuff, especially with me, but this works with other people too, other readers, um, you're paying attention to that reader because you're looking for information. You know, you, you want answers to blah, 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 whatever. You're seeking answers. Someone's seeking answers today, just seeing. They might get a fucking reading. But <coughs> if you have that intention, you're basically telling your spirit team 
to go to that reader who you're paying attention to and give them access. Give, Please give this reader, because it's my favorite reader or one of my favorite readers, access to my information, to my energy, because I want to know blah, blah, whatever. That's why things resonate with you. That's why specific messages pop up for certain people, because it's, you're, you're giving permission. Because that's one thing I've always done with readings, is I don't... I will not do a reading on someone unless they give me permission. Like, unless they ask for it. And the second you ask for one, that's giving permission. Do you know what I mean? Um, be careful who you give that permission to. Because not every reader is good. Not every person does shit with good intentions. So it's also be careful who you want to pay attention to because they'll pick up on you. And if they figure out it's you, they might just keep trying to tap in because you gave them open permission, open-ended permission. That feels like it would be more significant to someone if you know them. Do you know what I mean? Like the general public, it, a reader's not going to know where the hell it's going to or who it's for unless you confirm it. You know what I mean? Um, but if it's for someone that you actually know, like say you know a reader, like they're a friend of yours, a family member or whatever, and you grant them full access, if that person is not on the up and up, they will remain, they will remain having access to your energy to get information about you whenever they want. That could just naturally happen, especially if you need to know something about that person because they're like, they, if they have bad intentions towards you or... Um, if something's going on with them and they need to be aware of it. Because I feel like if you're not intentionally looking into somebody, the, you're probably not even going to know who it's for. Do you know what I mean? I don't know. Just be careful with who you allow, at, allow to have access to your energy. Yeah. Oh, shit. Yeah, something got flipped around here. <laughs> There's an awakening here. Overcoming an obstacle. Yeah, somebody's waking up to uh, to a situation they realize there's a realization here. It's almost like, oh, that's why that happened. Or that's what's going on. Huh. I don't know. Whatever that means to you. I'm just going to get a couple of these and I'm going to go because this is... I don't want this to be very long. I just heard you should probably go now. So I don't know if Spirit's telling me, like, well, maybe you can call it quits now. Like, you don't need to do this reading anymore. So I wouldn't know. You, you should probably go. Maybe somebody should just leave you alone. Whatever that means. But anyways, someone's birthday is significant or happy birthday. Give me, what else does so-and-so need to know? <laughs> I don't know why I said it that way. The collective five of coins, hard misfortune. You should just go. Um... This feels like financial ruins. Somebody ruined something. Because they wanted too much. They wanted it all. Somebody wanted something all at once. Or they got a lump sum of money or something and then poof, disappeared. But this doesn't feel like a lump sum. It feels like greed. Somebody lost because of greed? They lost something. They could have lost out on a relationship or, I don't know, something didn't pan out for someone because they were greedy. Something to do with someone's mom. Hmm. 
king of coins reversed weak and security yeah this person is not stable their financial security stability is effed right now they're probably not happy about it maybe that's why they're on the other pirate ship wanting the whole fucking treasure chest when you're actually gonna have all the gold because you're picking up all the pieces because it's almost it's making me think of with that dream like if they're looking for the treasure all the loot you know what i mean they're like okay well we're following the map we're following what are the directions to get to the money <laughs> to get to whatever this is the stability but they're not necessarily following the wrong information or the wrong map the treasure chest isn't there because somebody beat them to it and it exploded. It went everywhere. So you're on the other ship going, oh, I found a piece. Oh, I found a piece. So you're picking up the treasure that belongs in the treasure chest. So this person's never going to find it because you're, you, already ha you already have it. Because you weren't greedy. Because you took it piece by piece, little by little. And they needed it all. That's what that feels like. That's really cool. Nine of Cups. Empty promises. Yeah, there was empty promises here, that's for sure. Somebody did not keep th their word. Their word is not fucking bond. I'm just going to say. I thought this was going to fucking work out. Whoops. That's what that feels like. deal or no deal no fucking deal is what this feels like uh i don't know someone was looking at something all wrong a situation a project career path whatever even a relationship and that happened on purpose because this wish isn't for you this wish was somebody else's wish It's almost like, make me think of Aladdin, you know, the genie, whoever rubs the lamp is the one who gets their wishes granted because the genie is their master, you know, or no, the ma they're the genie's master, whatever. And like when Jafar takes over the lamp, Aladdin no longer can get wishes from the genie because it's moved on to somebody else, basically. But the genie still likes Aladdin, like, like, I wish I could help you, but I can't. Why am I thinking of it this way? I wish I could help you, but I can't. Because I have to deal with this motherfucker. I have to deal with this motherfucker, so I can't help you. But Aladdin ends up, you know, getting the genie back. Well, but it's for a good reason. It's to help the genie. Because he could have been greedy. And, you know, used his last wish on himself. But instead, he used his wish to free the genie from the ties that bind, bind him, basically. It's like, I'd rather have you be happy and free than cater to me. I'm going somewhere with this. I'm not quite sure where yet, but, <laughs> um, but then he made a lifelong friend and he still got what he wanted. He still got his wish because it was meant for him and it wasn't effed up or anything. It was because the Sultan changed the law where, you know, they could get married. Him and Jasmine could get married. He didn't have to become a prince to get the princess in the end because of his generosity and his strength and his good deeds, his kindness went a lot further than being greedy. It's like piling up good karma. I said that in my last reading. So some of you have like piled up so much good karma with the good deeds that you've done with your kindness and, and selflessness that you're going to you're going to get what you want. I don't know. I feel you like you're untouchable because of that. Something's going to change for you for the better. Because of who you are. Because of how you responded to adversity, to a problem. And whoever was being greedy 
is not going to be on the, the winning end of this. The Three of Swords reversed, recovering from heartbreak. If you were tied to this person because you had feelings for them, you're over it. You're over them, you're over it. Like, sayonara, motherfucker. Yeah. You're loving up on yourself, not them. So if your cup runneth over for them before, it don't fucking run over for them. You're just like, okay, I'm going to drink this up because I deserve it. Okay. Something really great is coming in for someone. Flowing attraction. Someone fucking likes you. That's, I, I don't know. I want to say that. Somebody likes you. They like you a lot. They like you a lot. I could be paying attention to you online. I don't know who they are. I don't feel like... I don't know who they are. I just heard it. It's me, so I don't know who's saying that. Could have something to do with within your dreams. Someone you dreamt about. And a telephone. I don't know. A telephone is significant. Why the fuck am I seeing that? You know when Oprah does her Christmas giveaways and shit or whatever and she's like, and you get one, and you get one, and you get one. That's what I just saw in my head. That's what I heard. And one for you, and one for you, and one for you. Everyone gets a new whatever. <laughs> okay. I'm not sure what that is, but uh, maybe it will make sense to some of you. But anyways, that's it's just being generous if you think about it. I like take I'm taking the gloves off, like you know your driving gloves. I'm taking the gloves off, like you don't want to fight, or someone doesn't want to fight with you. Yeah. Kind of what that feels like. Anyways, I love you guys. I'll talk to you soon. Peace.